Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading today. We have a tarot reading for you guys. Whoopsie daisies. And today is Wednesday the 14th. Yes, it is. And so uh, interesting. Today's kind of a, I mean, we could try to think, we could think of it as a five, kind of a challenging day possibly uh, because 14 is a five. We can look at, you know, the 8 for August, and we can add up the whole year uh, to get, I'm not sure what that adds up to, uh, 8 and 5 is 13, that's 4, and 8 and 12 is a 3. Okay, that would be a 3 as well. Uh, yeah, and honestly, the uh, odd numbers are more challenging than the even numbers. Of course they are, right? Let's see what we have for you guys, Sagittarius, and happy Wednesday. The chord initiation and uh, the power cards reversed, okay? They kind of don't read in the reverse. We have the owl wisdom keeper. So somebody is low on power here. Yes, they are, uh, right? And uh, because it's in the reverse and the chord is the, the beginning. The chord is the initiating, a new beginning, it is, or a new endeavor or uh, you know, doing something, and here I am starting out on this path, kind of, it can be, I'm just going to do something, and here I am initiating myself, uh, but the cord is a connection, and then we have the owl, wisdom keeper, so here she is, dressed as an owl, she is, right, and uh, the key is above her, and her, her hand is like a keyhole, so she's wise, she sure is, Sagittarius, and let's see what else we have for, uh, for you guys, and let's see, and we have changing faces. Somebody's changed. That's all that really means and stepping away. So somebody uh, learned here, wisdom keeper and changing faces. They learned and uh, they might have suffered. They could, the power card reversed uh, might be kind of painful, right? When you're not in your power or you're fearful, uh, that can be a little painful. But hey, uh, with this wisdom, somebody should be able to really step out of that uh, power in the reverse. It's also possible that somebody changed and they were not powerful in the past. Uh, they were not like just uh, really in their higher self or, uh, because now we have wisdom, the wisdom keeper, right? So the stepping away card is this woman and she's looking at the elder, the elder, uh, this is, uh, the moose or, you know, maybe he is the elk because, you know, honestly, you kind of get him mixed up, right? He looks more like the elk, but uh, very beautiful with all his antlers, uh, way more than I think they actually have. Uh, but hey, you know, it's an oracle card, right? And so she's looking at that. She's learned the wisdom here because this represents wisdom. And now she's walking away with the wisdom. Uh, we also have this wisdom here, as I said, and the changing faces. Somebody grows here and they are completely changing. Yes. And, uh, part of her face is black. Part of it's white. Here is the, uh, the Raven. And over here is, uh, you know, I'm not sure what bird that is, but they're just showing, uh, the major change that is going on here for somebody. Let's see what else we have Sagittarius. And we have uh, moon on the water. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that talks about your intuition big time and cycles changing. We have the three of vessels and joy. This is the three of cups. They call it vessels because, because they do. Right. And so here are the three chalices and, mm -hmm, and here are the three storks. And this is about joy and happiness and the moon on the water. Let's have a brief look at the moon on the water. That is, if we see this, uh, this book here, let's see here, because, uh, it is really the moon, but this is a deeper deck. And I mean, in some ways it is. So let's have a look at the moon and we have, uh, heralds a time of inner transformation initiation. We have this card initiation right here and awareness. Mm -hmm. This could take the form of a seemingly random situation based in the emotional or spiritual spheres, but your inner voice may have been whispering for some time and gone unheeded, unheeded, not you know, like, you know, like not listened to. So, right. Heed my hidden, heed my message or heed the right. And so now your soul brings into your physical world, the symbolic keys to the collective human subconscious. Mm -hmm. And this may take the form of a desire to investigate or study 
some type of doctrine, philosophy, or esoteric pursuit. So somebody could be really wanting to uh, maybe study this, but this can be kind of just, it's just about beliefs. When we see doctrine, philosophy, right? Uh, this is about uh, beliefs and what you value basically, right? And now we see, um, it, or the wish to explore untapped sexual energy and experience a tighter spiritual bond with a partner through honesty and the expression of your hidden desires. Somebody has hidden desires for you, Sagittarius. And this person, uh, maybe they have learned here and maybe they have stepped away from something. Uh, I don't even like to say maybe because it's just, right? It's, I mean, every reading is conditional, but this is clear, right? And this is going to be, excuse me, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but anybody with a lot of Sag in their chart or otherwise, anybody, period, because these are uh, general readings for the collective. And so before we begin with the tarot, Sagittarius, if you would like your uh, if you would like your psychic reading and I'm accurate, yes, there are lots of fun. I'm a Silva grad and right, and they're very personal. And so we do them on the phone. We can do them on a video call if you would like to see me, right? Uh, and so we do a tarot spread at the end if you get the combo or you can order those, you know, book those separately if you would like for you or for somebody else that you are um, needing to understand. So let's see what we have. And we start with the Ten of Swords. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. Everything's below in the description box, you guys. Yeah. And so the Ten of Swords, Sagittarius, is sitting here in the uh, overall, uh, overall energy. And so there is something that ends here. And that has to do with the stepping away. Somebody changed big time. Uh, and so, and they change, I don't, this changing faces is not about deception. It could be that somebody lied to themselves about how much they really desired you. There's hidden desires in this reading, right? And, uh, I kind of love that, right? Cause it sounds, I love anything that sounds mysterious, right? My Mercury is in Scorpio. It's all about mystery for sure. It is. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so let's go ahead and get another card. And let's see what else we have. We have the two of swords. All right. So somebody just says, Hey, somebody in this reading, you or your person, or you or this person says, Hey, I need to, I don't have any choice, but I need to let something end the 10 of swords and I need to step away right here. And so, yeah, there is wisdom here. So it's not just stepping away to step away because of hidden desires. No, there's definitely a learning going on and the emperor showing up in the reading. We also have, uh, let's move these cards up a little bit. So you're able to see, this is a vertical spread for sure. It is, uh, let's see, let's move the camera back so you can see these cards. Yes. And here we go. And so in the past, it's the Knight of pentacles in the near future is the star. Uh, look how beautiful this looks when you start the reading with the 10 of swords. And now we have the star sitting in the near future. So let's see what else we have in the reading and the three of pentacles, the queen of cups, five of cups and two of pentacles. So there's regret in this reading and there's sadness, right? And so when we start the 10 of swords, uh, it's like, it's, it's, you know, it's a no wonder why, isn't it? And, uh, we have three swords in the reading and, uh, that's kind of a lot here. It is. And so there is an ending here. There's a change. We have the six of swords, the transition, and this is coming into play. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so in this, you may be focused on this. Sometimes this talks about what you are focused on or the, or the person here that is driving this reading, right? This person is focused on this transition and this change. And, you know, of course, somebody's focused on that because this is a big deal. The 10 of swords stepping away, changing faces and hidden desires. Yeah. So here we have the two of swords crossing this 10 of swords. This is like, well, as I said, uh, I don't really have a choice. I have to end something, right? And maybe it was a hard decision. Uh, could have been. And uh, either way, um, you know, I, I win here, but I lose something here, but, uh, it's more for the win, right? But it's, uh, it's definitely a weighing out when we see the two of swords, what going back and forth and weighing something, but knowing that there has to be something kind of to, to reckon, uh, to, uh, reckon with, in other words, to accept, 
right? Here's the two of pentacles here. Two of pentacles is in the, you know, is in the potential outcome. And this is still kind of going back and forth. So, uh, I feel like this person here has hidden desires and they're kind of wondering, uh, what's going to transpire? What's really going to happen in this reading? Somebody's trying to predict the future. Uh, it's impossible. It really is, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it really is because that, that, uh, that requires control or manipulation, doesn't it? Or, uh, having too many expectations and we don't know what the universe wants for us. No, we don't. And let's get a card here on this, uh, two of swords and the 10 in the, in, uh, in the overall energy with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I have to choose who I'm in love with here or who I really want. Uh, I have to, this is an ending and this is offering love. So this is exactly the opposite, right? And that's what this Two of Swords is about, right? It definitely is. Now, what's helping you is the Emperor. This is maturity, right? The Emperor is what, you know, every man should always want to be or strive to be. Yes. And, you know, I mean, a real one, of course. <laughs> Unless, hey, unless that floats your boat, then that's fine, right? Uh, but the emperor takes control of his life and he creates stability and order. It's a number four. And that's what he does. And, you know, in the card, he's doing it within his empire. But uh, this is within, uh, for somebody's life. Of course it is. I love his boots, right? Uh, mm -hmm, look like pointed armor. Very cool. We'll get a card on that emperor that is assisting you uh, in this initiation and this kind of celebration with the three of vessels, the joy card. And now we have the eight of cups reversed. Yeah. Somebody's returning to you here and they have chosen you and they step away from something Sagittarius. And here's the knight of pentacles in the past. Uh, and it is sitting in the past. Uh, very interesting. We'll get a card on that. And we have the three of swords with it. Yeah. See, there could have been a third party in the past or somebody's heart was broken here because here is the five of cups, which is regret and, uh, grieving and an ending. Uh, most of the time, five of cups is definitely about grieving and ending, right? We have the two cups left here. So this is for you and this person. And these other three cups, uh, are spilled over. You know, this is interesting because it can always remind me of something, the three cups that are spilled over something that was getting in the way of these two cups here, kind of, or what they represent, love, right? Two people. And so coming into play is the six of swords. It's a transition. This is happening uh, like, like ASAP, right? It really is six of swords. And in the near future is the star. There's a healing here. Uh, let's get a card on it. looks like there's a healing between you and this person and the moon. So, uh, mm -hmm. and very interesting here. There's a lot of hope here. There could be a little bit of fear here whether or not this is going to take place. The moon is about confusion and fear. Yeah. Because you can see these dogs are there, you know, they're completely howling like, like the world's going to end. Right. And, uh, please come and save me master. Right. Kind of like that. It is. Uh, and then, so now we have the three of pentacles and that is your advice that this person wants to work things out with you or, you know, maybe it's you doing that and the magician and really have a new beginning. And that this person is in their power. This could be your advice, right? Step into your power to make this happen, Sagittarius. Uh, right? To You can't really make anything happen without personal power, right? Because it looks way too hard, so you don't, like, you don't do it, right? That's kind of how that looks here. The power card's reversed. This person could have been afraid, or they are afraid now right? Whoever's doing this could be a little bit afraid, but in the end, this is somebody who says, you are this person who says, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm doing this regardless. And that's what this two of swords, 10 of swords is about. I'm doing this, right? This can be kind of like, well, uh, I don't have any choice, but to let something end here, but I don't really know too, if it might end with Sagittarius, that could be the energy here, right? Especially with the three of swords over here. The three of swords is not a friend. No, it's not. Right. Yeah. Kind of like three mean girls, right? The three, the three of swords, <laughs> just teasing you guys. You could be saying, what? I thought you were a girl. Queen of cups. Let's see, we have a woman 10, a uh, high priestess reverse. This could really be a Pisces or a Scorpio. It really could. Uh, and this is in the environment and this person may be hurt. 
the moon is here, the two of swords, the ten of swords, and the three of swords all basically on the same, you know, kind of on the same floor here, right? They're all adjacent. And uh, yeah, and so let's move this over just a little bit there. You guys can see these cards better. I beg your pardon on that. Yeah. And so here we have, uh, let's get another card. This is in the environment and this is how you are affecting this person. Somebody could have been put down for you. Yeah, that could be. And we have the seven of wands. This is how you either affected this person. Uh, definitely this is very overwhelmed. It could be that somebody has resisted somebody else. And in this reading, they could have the stepping away card. She's leaving and she's looking back like it's right next to the changing faces where somebody grew. Somebody's really changed here. And because they are wiser, they went through an awakening most likely here, because that's usually what happens when you become much wiser. Yeah. It's not because, you know, uh, I don't know one day you woke up and it's not usually like that. It can be a, sometimes overnight. It can, uh, when you realize that you've been kind of blocking yourself, right. Or not, uh, not loving yourself, right. No self love. And so once you realize that, you're like, I don't want to do this. Things can change overnight, right. And in the hopes and fears is the five of cups. It's sitting with, let's get a card on that seven of cups. This is like, wow, I had this hopes and fears. I hope I made the right choice here because I'm grieving some type of an ending here. And I have, there's regret here and somebody regrets they're hurting somebody in this reading. It does really appear like that. And in the potential outcome is the two of pentacles. This is one wondering what's going to happen. These ships in the back are, you know, they could flip over, right? And you know, this is from way back in the day and you know, but uh, in the potential outcome is the two of pentacles. I wonder what's going to happen. I've already made this choice. Yes. And I'm in transition now. Six of swords. It's showing up with the page of swords. That's more curiosity. Uh, and now we have six of swords again. <coughs> and so here we have six of swords with the little cards and the big cards. And in the potential outcome, it's still thing. I'm same thing. I'm wondering uh, if I'm going to get what I want, if I will get to a happier place in my life because I've left something behind. Somebody took a chance on you, Sagittarius. Yeah. And let's get one more card on that because that's all very interesting. Wheel of Fortune. See, this person thinks that you are fate and destiny. There's no other way to look at that. Wow. Get your psychic greeting, Sagittarius. Get your your natal chart read, yet yeah, interpreted. This really helps you in your path. <coughs> I'm looking at mine tonight, uh, once again, because yeah, it does really help you. It helps you if, if your chart is interpreted and explained to you very well. Yes, it does. So I'm going to end this. Thanks so much. Uh, and let me know if you would like that out uh, the description box has my services there. Thank you. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the little bell so you can receive all my notifications.